Well, weather-wise, not a bad start to our work week for a Monday. Temperatures across the area today, some places seasonable to seasonably warm in the upper 40s. Some places got closer to 50 degrees down in the coal field, 47 out of Beckley. Normal average high, 43 degrees. Temperatures at this 6 o'clock hour also don't look half bad in the upper 30s to low 40s across the area. 36 in Hillsboro, 38 over here in Oak Hill, and 39 down in the Coalfields area. We are dry out there. Also, we had a lot of sunshine out there today. For most of the area, some people in the Greenbrier Valley may have experienced more cloud cover. That's due to this system off to the east. It will not affect us. It has not affected us. It's just going to move up and along the coast. But we're watching this weak cold front out towards the Midwest. That's going to swoop on down tonight. We're not too concerned about it in terms of any impacts precipitation wise. But we will notice a change in the temperatures tomorrow. It won't be as warm. We're going to sh see a uh, shift of the winds uh, from the west, northwest, down to the west as we head into tomorrow morning. Temperatures will end up in the low to mid-20s for our morning lows. We're going to notice a couple more clouds across the area, but not necessarily any sort of rain or snow chances across the area. So if you plan on going out and maybe getting a car wash to wash off some of that salt or snow, the next several days are good for that because we're not looking to really see much of any rain chances at all. Rain or snow across the next seven days. Very, very low if we do see them uh, Wednesday night, potentially with another one of those weak, dry, cold fronts that we're experiencing tonight. But looking at Saturday, that's probably the best chance. And right now, we're still in that isolated category for uh, rain or snow chances heading into the weekend. So really right now, not a whole lot of confidence uh, in the models that we're going to see a lot of anything. And it looks very isolated if we do. The next 48 hours continue to remain fairly dry. That increase in clouds tonight burning off through the morning tomorrow. We'll see that sun tomorrow. And then Wednesday will also be sunny. We'll notice a couple clouds through the afternoon. There's that weak cold front again. Notice it's all rain in the green and very, very scattered showers. It'll, we won't even notice that, we'll ha that we've had any sort of rainfall at all. We'll be that quick and isolated. Snow showers through the overnight as we head into uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, but it's north of I-64 and it's really along the higher terrain. Most of the rest of the area from Fayette down through Raleigh, the coal fields, Mercer and the Greenbrier Valley barely feel anything. And we have been uh, warming up despite a lot of the snow that we've seen recently. Even though January we were very below average, the past two weeks generally we were below that average line more than we were above it. The next, uh, the next 10 days don't necessarily look like that. We seem to be more average over the next 10 days. Not a whole lot below the graph. It does look like uh, as we head through the next several days, we're going to be a little bit more up and down, but we're not seeing a whole lot of that below average territory. We had a lot more of that beginning of February, end of January, and then we saw that little bit of a rise the first few days of the month, but it does look like that we are going to see more seasonable temperatures and we are watching for a warm up the end of the month. But for right now, it's seasonable up and down across the next several days. Temperatures will be at times above average heading into the middle of the week, more around average heading into tomorrow and Thursday, and then another cool down uh, the end of the weekend. Samantha. All right, Jacob, thank you.